Hello everyone again and this is Dr. Tosin and um, gosh we are in trying times right now. Um, everybody obviously has heard and we know everything going on about the coronavirus, the COVID-19. Um, the world is in such a state of panic and fear and um, it's frankly getting a bit out of hand. But as things are it's spreading at an, an alarming rate here in the United Kingdom where I am, We've hit over 1,500 cases and um, admittedly the government's response to this is very slow. Um, going from the issue of herd immunity um, and doing almost a massive U-turn in the last couple of hours to sub the suppression tactic and effect, which is what was used in places like China. Um, our NHS is obviously not going to be able to cope with this um, per se, but we are taking drastic measures to be able to then. As a medical doctor, we are on the front line of the um, fight against the coronavirus and um, we aim to get ourselves protected, but um, this cannot be assured. Um, there is a lot of information out there, a lot of non-experts giving non-experts advice. Uh, admittedly, I am not an expert on the coronavirus, um, a general medical practitioner. Um, just working to provide general services for people. But one thing is clear, there's a lot of non-expert advice there. Recent non-expert advice was obviously the talk about herd immunity, followed by them changing their mind, saying that it's going to be suppressed. It looks clearly that we are heading towards a lockdown. Um, they do not want to say it out there, but I mean, let's call a spade a spade. We, If we follow the trend that we have been following, we are heading going to be like Italy and um, as in the last 24 hours, France too has gone into lockdown with um, extreme, well, not extreme, extreme measures in um, keeping people social distancing and keeping people apart. UK government has started with statements on social distancing, banning activities in theatres, mass gatherings, pubs. Um, well, not banning, they put it as an advice actually, but that's Technically, to me, um, it's just them wasting more time, isn't it? We are seeing situations where we're going to have to ban things and ban lots of gatherings. On the flip side, that will affect a lot of businesses and um, to hit the economy hard. Um, I am not going to be able to, um, I don't know anything about how they're going to sort that out. I'll leave that to the government. But from the health point of view, what can we do? That is the main question at hand. What can we do? There's a lot of advice on NHS England, um, social distancing. The key thing has been put forward is yeah, washing the herd. One thing that has not really been put forward is people talking about actually your last line of defense. And what's your last line of defense? Your body's immunity. Um, immunity plays a big role. So what people should pay, pay more attention to, apart from obviously going ahead with social distancing and constant hand washing and being vigilant, is build building your immunity I, my advice people is to take steps to build up their immunity as much as they can steps include trying to get enough sleep exercising having a healthy nutrition um what i've seen people you go to the stores mass buying people are mass buying foods like crisps lots of sugar honey corn flakes who admittedly high high things that are high in sugar content, which are things that insult your immune system and create an inflammatory process. Um, I would not advise that they do this at this point in time. Taking things that are high in process, things will not help your immune system in this particular state in time. And um, admittedly, will can cause more tr problems for you um, than good. While it's a, while it, you should, people should get necessary things to stock up with the government has issued a statement that people should not go and panic by and be kind to other people on the shelves and help them leaving things for other people to get. Um, people are allowed to get lots of products. There are fresh products out there to get like vegetables, fish, and um, uh, good products there. there. I went, I was in the store, was yesterday, and uh, the aisles for canned products had all been sold out, which was very, very hilarious. But admittedly, people are scared and you have to admit people are taking self precautions um, a statement has been issued by this health the supermarket bodies um, saying that the supply chain will still go on 
um, touch wood that is true and we should be able to get on top of things but like like I said uh, my advice to people is to build their immunity work on your nutrition it's still good it's still good preaching and teaching to eat a healthy meal lots of vegetables if you can and one technique that can be helpful for people is if you think your vegetables are going to run out or you can't store lots of vegetables a good idea is to make a smoothie out of a vegetable and fruit and just freeze it and keep it there you can make small pots and things for the kids get fruits and vegetables all blended together as a smoothie and keep that there it offers you good things there healthy other nutrition things like bone broth can help boost your immune system as well um, good other products going around and buying up all the pasta which is basically um, processed wheat is not going Rice to be from clean. NHS England is solid social distancing hand washing being vigilant avoiding um, the hospitals or your GP practice if you have symptoms of fever a dry cough um, or any of the other listed symptoms of the uh, coronavirus um, also just to point it out it has been people have been telling you to call the NHS 111 number but now actually the NHS 111 service is overwhelmed with calls I have colleagues that have a thousand people on queues waiting to answer their phone calls about concerns about coronavirus it's actually easier to go online to the NHS 111 website and input your data there and you can get straightforward information that will be useful to you on the website as well um, from the following the steps on the website you will be advised whether you need to make a phone call or what, what whether you need to self-isolate or who you need to contact that will be my advice to everybody um, if you've got symptoms and you're worried um, try the NHS website first to follow the steps if you need to self-isolate and speak to someone then pick up the phone and dial the NHS 111 service um, there are other people on the line the, the services are very stretched and we have to be kind to these people as well to help them to offer help them offer the best they can in this time in these trying times this has been Dr. Tosin my take-home message is boost the last line of your defense which is your immune system get healthy nutrition in if you want to and if you can get supplements in there have been there have been um WHO has published a document stating about vitamin D, taking your daily levels of vitamin D, boosting with vitamin C and other supplements that can help as well. Um, that would be the advice given to you for myself. Um, again, I am not an expert on the COVID-19 virus. I do not have any information about current treatments or anything, but we know that we've been told clearly that the uh, uh, vaccine is in the pipeline and it can take up to 18 months for it to get ready. Um, there are varying informations in different places. Um, so that's all in what I would call my circle of concern, not in my circle of control. In your circle of control, what you can work on, like I said, is boosting your immunity, getting enough sleep, getting in exercises. There are a lot of home workout videos you can do at home. And there's nothing that stops people from going for jogs um, um, around their estates, even in this social distancing era. And also healthy nutrition is very important. Healthy nutrition. Not gummy bears, not Harry Bowls, not lots of chocolates for the kids and crisps and um, all that processed food. Let's stay away from those for now. I mean, indulging in them in normal times is good, but in this time where the, your immunity can be hit hard by the virus, please try and avoid that. This has been Dr. Tosin. Thank you very much.